I'm letting you know right now, if you're trying to get an internship at Amazon, it's definitely attainable. You just gotta put in the work. You took the first step by clicking on this video, so don't worry, I'm gonna get y'all right. What's good everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Zim the Dream, if you're new here, I post college, programming, and lifestyle related content. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to get an internship at Amazon. I had a poll for you guys that I put out that I asked, you know, what do you guys wanna see next? And I really like that community of sort of just gauging where you guys are at and what do you guys wanna see on my channel. So a lot of you guys were interested in this video, so I decided I'll go ahead and make it. And I don't plan on making this video long either. I wanna get straight to the point so y'all can get moving. If you have not already clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and click it. We are on the road to 3K. So go ahead and subscribe and join the dream team. And yeah, let's just get into this video. All right, so number one is to get your resume in line. When I applied to Amazon, Google, Facebook, I did not have any prior internship experience, but I made sure to get my resume in line. And I think that's why all of those companies at least followed up with me and gave me a chance with the interview process. So I think that's the most crucial part. A lot of you guys out there have the skills to be in these companies and you have what it takes, but if your resume is not in line the recruiter probably will just skip through you and you know you're gonna miss out on opportunity when working on your resume and just updating it you want to always look at the job description or internship description that you're going after and try to cater your resume to look sort of like oh it's filling in all these boxes the recruiter is going to be looking at your resume like you this is perfect it checks all of our boxes that we're looking for but you already strategically did that so that's what we want to do and that's always like a you know a key gem to always do when you're updating your resume and i actually have a video up on my channel that goes step by step in depth of what my resume is and what i have on it so if you guys want to go check that out um feel free to link will be in the description and also let's say you're a freshman you know you're not really sure where to start with your resume what's put on it let me know in the comment section down below and i'll you know i'll consider making a video about that all right, so number two is to start practicing immediately. It's no secret that these interviews are technical and behavioral, and the technical is the main portion that they're gonna be focused on. Can you actually code or can you not? So you wanna practice, practice, practice data structures and algorithms as much as you can. And I think one of my favorite ways to do that is by using leak code. I'm sure you guys probably know about that, but if you don't, I have a video up on, you know, how to use leak code efficiently and all the tips and tricks that I use that just helped me when I was going through the interview process and, you know, studying as well. All right, so we're already on number three. We drop in gems, we move in quickly, and that is to conduct real interviews. And what I mean by this is to allocate some time and practice as if you are actually being interviewed. When you're doing lead code problems, you wanna put it in an environment where it's like, okay, this is exactly how it's gonna be when an interviewer is testing me. When you are doing behavioral questions, it's good to practice with friends or uh, family members, anybody who is willing to just test you on some questions. Or if you just wanna conduct like these interview days from start to finish on exactly you know what you're gonna be tested on. The key thing to do when you're practicing for these behavioral and these, um, technical questions is to time yourself. A lot of people just kind of go through the motions and ask the questions, but in reality, you're gonna be put in a real life situation where you have maybe like 20, 30 minutes to answer a question. So you have to be quick on your feet, and the best way to do that is to simulate a real testing environment, interview environment where you're already ahead of the game and you're already practicing these things. I'll talk more about this stuff in my Lead Code video, but bottom line is you want to conduct real interviews that goes with behavioral, technical. Just make sure that the setting that you're practicing in is real. All right, so number four, this is a key thing that a lot of people miss out on, is to apply as soon as the application drops or as soon as possible. A lot of people like to wait till they're ready to apply, which that is not always going to work because you have thousands of people applying to the same position that you want. So you want to make sure that your application is submitted as soon as possible. So I recommend for Amazon or even for any company that you know you want to apply to for software engineering is to create a spreadsheet of you know the link, the day that it opens, the day that it closes, whatever information you can get on the application. Have that in the spreadsheet and just kind of be watching out for those timelines and making sure that you're applying for Amazon and for the other companies. All right, so this next one actually kind of goes with the resume. I recommend getting your LinkedIn in order as well. A lot of these Amazon recruiters will reach out to you on LinkedIn and just recruiters in general. And that has been amazing. That actually got me a lot of interviews with other companies just by having my LinkedIn set up and it was almost identical to my resume. So if you guys are sleeping on LinkedIn, I recommend you 
to rethink that and get your LinkedIn in order because you might be missing out on some opportunities. All right, so the last thing is to be proactive and get to work. You guys, you probably have done a ton of research. Oh, how can I get this internship? How can I do this? How can I do that? It's time to get to work. Start practicing, start simulating them real environments. Start getting to work and actually preparing for these interviews because it's gonna happen. I guarantee you guys are gonna apply and you guys are gonna get a follow-up by a recruiter and you wanna make sure that you're prepared. So the best way to be prepared is just to start practicing. This video was sort of all general information and helpful gems, but if you have anything that you want me to go more in depth about, please leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to just make a video about it. I really wanna unify this community that I'm building because my channel's my channel has been growing like really passively so i really want to connect with all of you guys if you guys have any questions i love responding to the comments and all of that stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please go ahead and drop a like subscribe to the channel if you have not already and i hope to see you guys in my next video peace out